Hi there, welcome to TMC. Today I'll be looking at this 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Track, finished in grey. I'll be doing a little walk around of the vehicle today, showing you all the key features, details and cosmetics. And I'll be sure to point out anything over and above that of general wear and tear. First of all, we're starting out with the bonnet of the vehicle. As I scan across, you'll see it's looking really nice and tidy up across here. No big scratches or dings at all. And just moving down to the front end of the vehicle, you can see those uh, headlights surrounds there and those headlights themselves looking really nice and tidy no big scratches or cracking in the lenses at all and just moving down across that front bumper you see that front bar just along the bottom there looking nice and tidy and yeah the rest of that front bumper that bottom grille looking good both of those bottom lights looking tidy as well and as you can see you've got the uh, Raptor style front grille just there looking really 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 good other headlights looking tidy, and that front passenger side. All the way over to the back, you can see you've got the wind deflectors above the windows there, looking nice and tidy. Rest of that front arch, a bit of a mark just in the top there, as you can see, but overall looking tidy. And that front alloy looking good as well, no significant uh, scratching or curbing on there. And you've got plenty of life left in those tires as well. We'll just move down the passenger side of the vehicle now, side mirror. A few scratches, just the plastic there, but no significant damage to the casing. As you can see by the badge on the side, we do have the 3.2 litre engine with the six speed automatic gearbox. Just moving down the side, passenger side steps in good condition. Also got the front passenger door here looking nice and tidy. No big car park dings or scratches at all. I'll just take you to the inside of that door. The interior door card, a few signs of general wear, a few marks. As you can see here and there, but no significant damage, no big cracks or missing pieces. Front passenger seat there, looking nice and tidy. Small bit of creasing, but no big tears on the edge at all. That rear door, looking good as well. No big car park dings or scratches in that one at all either. And we'll just move to the inside here. Again, a few signs of general wear. Overall looking good. Rear seats, as you can see, no big creases, no tearing in the seat base or the back at all. Looking nice and tidy across there. Now we'll just move around to the rear of the vehicle, starting with that rear arch. As you can see, slightly flared arches on this vehicle. Rear alloy there, looking nice and tidy again, no significant curbing or scratching. And that rear panel. No big dings or scratches at all. Moving around to the back of the vehicle, you can see again, you've got those black uh, tail lights around to match the front headlights. Again, in those lenses, got no big scratches or cracking. A few marks just in the rear bumper there, next to those rear parking sensors. Got your fixed tow bar on the back with your electrical hookup. The rest of that rear bumper. Looking nice and tidy. And just move around to that tailgate there. No big scratches or car park dings in there at all. You can also see you've got the Red Rock rolling shutter just done here. I'll just open that up. I'll open up the tailgate as well. As you can see, heavy load liner in the back here. A few signs of use, but no significant damage. No big cracks or tears, missing pieces, nothing like that. There's a bit of a scratch just on the inside of the tailgate here, along the back. A few marks. Overall looking nice and tidy. And we'll just move to the driver's side of the vehicle. Again, those rear tail lights looking good. That rear panel. Looking tidy as well, nothing to point out there. Rear arches looking good. And that rear alloy also looking nice and tidy. No big curbs or scratches on there. But again, plenty of life left on those tires. Just moving down the driver's side of the vehicle now. No big car park dings or scratches. A few smaller marks, but nothing too significant. That front door looking good. 
Again, no big cutback dings or scratches. Front arch looking tidy, and that front alloy looking good as well. Once again, looking in very good condition with good tread left on those tyres. Driver's side mirror looking good, no significant damage. And just up and over that driver's corner, that pillar there looking good as well. Just move to the windscreen of the vehicle, just show you the health of that. Any chips or cracks at all, I'll point those out. A few smaller impact points, but no big chips on that driver's side. Just move around to the passenger side of the vehicle. Looking good up across there. Then we'll just move to the inside of that driver's side. Show you those interior door cards in the rear, first of all. Again, a few signs of general wear. It's going to happen on these ages of vehicles. You can also see just in the door shut there, there is a bit of a ding. Rear driver's seat. No creases on the side. Those rear seats really do look hardly sat in. And just the inside of that front driver's door. Got the wild track door shut plate just there. A few other smaller dings just in the door shut as well. And we'll just move to the driver's seat. As you can see, a little bit creasing on the edge there. You can also see there is a small tear just in the edge of the seat uh, fabric as well. Rest of the seat, however, looking really nice and tidy. Electric seat controls just down there. A few very light marks on the trim. That's all firmly in place. Then we'll just move to the inside of the vehicle now. I'll just start the engine, show you a few features. As you can see, we're on just over 55,000 miles on the clock. Nice, quick and easy startup. On the steering wheel here, you've got your cruise control and speed limiter. Automatic gearbox and your rotary drivetrain select. Just across there, a few extra options here as well. Got all your AC controls across here. You've also got your dual front heated seats just across there. Here's your infotainment system. If I just put this into reverse, you can see you've got your reverse parking sensors as well as your reversing camera just across there. Got your audio inputs just here, which does include your AM, FM and DAB radio, as well as your CD and Bluetooth audio inputs. You can do all your climate controls just here. You've got your satellite navigation, Bluetooth, phone connectivity as well, hands-free mobile apps, and you've also got a few system settings just across here as well. This vehicle is available for viewing either through our online process or at our Hampshire based branch. If you have any further questions or inquiries on this vehicle, please do feel free to get in touch. And thank you very much for watching.